Hi, Sarah here from Hanum Yoga, and today we've taken the yoga outside, so I hope you're gonna join me outside on your mat in the beautiful springtime sunshine with the rapeseed, the yellow rape behind, and the birds in the background. We're gonna start standing, simple vinyasa flow for around 20 minutes. So come to stand on your mat, or the grass if you're not using a mat, and simply rock backwards and forwards on your feet, beginning to find your balance. And then turn your feet to the outer edges, so you're lifting up the insides of your feet. And then rock onto the in, inner edges, the inner blades, and you lift the outside edges. And go like this from side to side, getting a good gentle stretch down the tendons and ligaments around your ankles. Brilliant. From here, we're going to lift up onto our tiptoes and then sink back down to our heels. Coordinate your breath. So inhale to rise, exhale to drop. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, reach up tall through the crown of the head and exhale, sink your heels. Twice more, inhale, strengthening the muscles in the feet, reaching up as high as you can on the balls and exhale, release the sole of the foot to the mat. Inhale, last time, pull your navel in to help keep your balance and exhale, gently drop down to the ground. Using the breath again, inhale, lift the arms up above your head towards the sunshine or sky above you, and exhale, take your hands down towards your thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms up high, look up. Exhale, release the hands, look down to the ground. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release. Twice more, breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Inhale, come up halfway. Begin to look over to your right shoulder and then over your left shoulder. Gently turning the head from side to side, trying to keep the shoulders nice and relaxed, reaching out towards the horizon with your fingers. And then from here, look straight forward and start to make circles with your hands. Keep that feeling of extending all the way along the top of the arm. And then change the direction of your circles. Breathe in, tense the muscles in your legs and breathe out, M multitasking as we go. And from here, we're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. Form a fist with your hands, straighten your arms, lift your heart, look up to the sky, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend the knees and come all the way into a forward fold. Inhale, press into the feet to come up to stand. Let the throat open, let the chin lift. Exhale, roll back down, looking between your knees. Inhale, come up to stand, nice straight back. Lift the fist a little higher behind you. And then exhale, fold. Seeing if you can keep your arms straight, your palms pressing together. Inhale, come all the way up. Release the arms overhead. Cross the right foot in front of the left. And we're gonna take a side stretch over to the left hand side. Breathing in, opening up the side of the body. Breathing out. Inhale, come up to neutral, palms meet. Lift up on your tiptoes and take a little 360 degree twirl on your mat. <laughs> And then you'll find that your left leg is in front and we're gonna stretch over to the right side. Breathing in. And breathing out to arc your body over. Inhale, come back to neutral, palms meet. Lift the heels, take your twirl on your mat. Coming back to center. Uncross the legs, release the arms down to the side. Roll the shoulders up, back and down three times. From here, inhale, sweep the hands up high, Urdhva Hastasana, look to the sun. Exhale, fold all the way. Inhale for a halfway lift, hands on shins, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold down to the mat. Bend the knees, press into the feet, sweep the arms out to the side, lift yourself all the way back up to stand. And then exhale, fold all the way down towards the ground again. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale for Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Lifting your gaze, looking forward. And then exhale, fold back down to your forward fold. Knees can stay bent. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side. 
come all the way up, pull the lower ribs in, exhale, send the hips back in space, swan dive down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on shin bones, press into the shin bones to lift your heart forward. Exhale, fold all the way down, looking between your knees. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms out to the side, lift all the way up. Exhale, lower the hands down to the heart. And because we're outside, we've warmed up our ankles and our feet. We've warmed up a bit of our shoulders. We're going to start to warm up the hands a bit more because uneven ground, you're going to be putting uneven pressure through the joints in the fingers and the wrists. So take the hands into prayer and then start to flip the prayer in towards yourself out away from you, rolling onto the back of the hands as you go, and take the hands all the way up to the sky, backs of the palms press, backs of the hands pressed together, and then bend the elbows, draw the hands in towards you, flip them out, make a prayer, and keep going like this, three rolls with the hands, and then take it back in towards yourself, one roll, two roll, lifting up, three roll, backs of the hands stay together, reach up tall, and then draw the fingers in towards yourself. Roll the hands around three times this way. Good job. Inhale, sweep the arms up and high. Exhale, release the arms behind you, interlace the hands, form a fist, roll the shoulder blades together as you lift the heart. And on your next breath out, you bend the knees and you fold all the way down to your forward fold. Soften the knees, release the hands, sweep them either side of the feet, come to your ukitasana. I'll lift a little, exhale, let your seat drop. Inhale, pull your lower belly in and lengthen your tailbone. Exhale, hold. Inhale for three, let the palms face the sun. Exhale, hold. Inhale, release all the way down and exhale to fold yourself in half. Inhale to take your halfway lift, hands on shins. I'm going to turn sideways and come to the top of my mat now. You can do the same if you are in that position as well. And then release your hands back down. We're going to step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat. Inch the front foot forward. Come up onto your fingertips. Rock backwards and forwards in your runner's lunge. So you can feel your hips responding in this position, creating a bit of space around the right hip flexor, around the side of the left hip. And then from here, drop your back knee as far behind you as you can. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and high. And then exhale, take your hands to the front knee. We're going to place palm on top of palm, straighten the arms, lean back, engage the right glute. Shoulders away from ears, turning it into a little back bend. Breathing in, breathing out. From here, we're going to take the hands down to the ground, lift the back knee. Step the front foot to meet the back foot, finding yourself in plank, holding your plank here for two breaths. So inhaling, rounding slightly through the upper back. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hips are in line with heels and heart. Exhale, hold. Inhale for a cheeky third breath. And then exhale, lower your knees to the ground far behind you. Make sure the hands are in front of the shoulders. We're going to take tricep dips. So I always find it helps to squeeze the legs together and lift the ankles. Start to bend the elbows towards you. Imagine they're grazing your ribs. And we're going to take five of these. So nice controlled press ups, making sure the pelvis is dropping forward, strong straight back. Another two if you can, working the backs of the arms. And then come all the way down to your tummy. Toenails on the ground, hands underneath shoulders. Inhale, lift up to a little cobra. Hold it here, floating. Inhale for two. Exhale, hold. Inhale, three. Draw elbows down towards your hips. Exhale, release down to the mat. Press all the way back. Find yourself in a child's pose with your knees nice and wide. Forehead comes to the ground. Option to roll the forehead from left to right. Deep breaths while you're here. As you inhale, slowly come forward. Check that the hands are underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes, 
Hover the knees, engage the core, lengthen the spine, make sure you're still looking forward to the front edge of your mat. And then from here, we're gonna try and round our spine like an angry cat, look towards your tummy. And as you inhale, you're gonna lift the tailbone and look forward. Exhale, taking cat cow with the hovering knees. If it's too much, drop your knees. Inhale, look up and forward. One more, exhale, keep the knees hovering round the spine, push away into the mat. And then inhale, look up. Start to rock back towards your heels. Lengthen your spine before you come up into your downward dog, pedaling your legs out, shaking your head and neck all around. Breathing in for one. Breathing out. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee towards the heart and step the foot all the way to the front of the mat. While you're here, come into your runner's lunge, rocking backwards and forwards, up on your fingertips, trying to lift your heart. Keep your hips nice and low. Breathing in. And breathing out. Beginning to drop the back knee to the mat behind you finding a comfortable spot and then inhale sweep your arms up high overhead back toes can be tucked or untucked your preference for your balance reach up high pull the lower ribs in and then as you exhale hands through the heart stacking the hands on the front leg straighten the arms turning it into a gentle back bend keep the front knee moving forward keep the hips sinking low squeeze your left glute shoulders away from ears Inhale, lift out of the hips, take the hands to the ground, lifting the back knee off the earth and stepping the right leg all the way back to the mat, finding your plank, holding for another two breaths. Breathing in, making sure the shoulders are above the wrists, breathing out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, then drop down to your knees. Let your chin come down to the mat. Keep the tailbone high, elbows squeezed in, and then slide onto your belly like a snake. Inhale, lift the hands, baby cobra. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift a little high using the muscles in your back. Exhale, soften. Inhale, use your heart to lift you higher. And then exhale, take the hands to the ground. Press back towards the child's pose, tuck your toes, send your hip bones up high in space, straightening your spine, finding yourself in a downward dog, pedaling out through the back of your body, giving your head and neck a gentle shake. Breathe in two, breathe out. Inhale three, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to heart, step the left foot all the way through between the hands, and then bring the back foot forward as well. Come into a forward fold. Separate the feet wider than the hips. Hold the elbows. Find yourself in ragdoll. By holding the elbows, we're helping to release down towards the ground, decompressing our spine, letting the top of the head fall heavy towards the earth long through the back of the neck. Release the hands to the ground, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the side, press into the feet, come all the way up to stand, Adva Hastasana. Exhale, lower hands to heart. Bring the feet in so they're underneath the hips. Bend the knees, sweep the arms behind you, either side of your feet, and then lift the arms for Utkatasana chair pose. Flip the palms up to face the sunshine if it's shining where you are. Breathe in two. Breathe out, wiggle your toes. Inhale, three. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, take your hands to the ground. Option if you want to have a quick go at crow pose to come onto your tiptoes, spread the fingers nice and wide, soften the elbows backwards and find the knees either side of your biceps Lift one set of toes up off the ground, maybe lift the other set of toes up. Keep looking forward. An option to jump or step back into plank. From your plank, inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, 
downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to heart, step the right foot all the way forward between the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up, balancing an Andrianasana crescent lunge. Exhale, let the back knee kiss the mat as the fingers drop to the earth. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Building strength, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to back of mat. Inhale, straight legs, one more. Exhale, back knee to the ground. Inhale, straighten. Release your hands to your heart in prayer. Then to your hips, bend the front knee, step the back foot in about a foot. Check that your feet are slightly on train tracks so you can keep your hips facing forward. Back toes are coming off. So your left toes are facing kind of 10 o'clock on a clock face. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, lift our heart, draw your elbows back behind you. And as you exhale, come forward. See if you can lengthen your spine at the halfway point and then look towards your big toe and allow yourself to drop a little deeper. Squaring the hips off, imagining the right leg sucking back into the right hip socket. Might help if you put your right thumb in your right hip crease and gently pull that back. From here, we're gonna inhale and reach the arms forward. Little bend in your front knee as you exhale so you're not hyperextending. And then start to lift yourself slowly with control all the way back up to stand. Hop your back foot to meet the front foot, palms together, lower ribs tuck in as you reach up high. As you breathe out, come all the way down towards the ground, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips in front of toes, perhaps if that feels good for your body. Exhale, fold. You can either come into crow again and practice maybe your jump back, or you can step back into your plank. If we're stepping back into our plank, we're gonna hold it here for a sec to let our friends in crow have a good shot at it and catch up with us. So in your plank, see if you can pull yourself up towards the sky above you, pressing down into the mat, resisting strongly. Breathe in and then breathe out. I think we're all in the same place now. Bend your elbows, come halfway down Chaturanga, press off your toes for upward facing dog, squeeze your glutes and exhale, lift back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to the heart, step the foot all the way forward. Reach the arms up to the sky, crescent lunge. As you breathe out, bend both knees, drop the fingers to the earth. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, rise. And last one. Palms come in front of heart. Bend the front knee, hop the back foot in. Have a look at your feet. Check the right toes are coming out towards two o'clock. Little tiny bend in your front knee so you don't hyperextend. Hands on hips, hip points are facing forward. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, lift the heart, draw the elbows and shoulder blades together behind you. And as you exhale, start to fold all the way forward. Stop at the halfway point, readjust, check you're not locking your front knee, pull back through the left hip, and then continue your journey down towards looking at your front big toe. Try to find length in the spine. Instead of bringing your nose to your knee, you're trying to keep nice and long through the area between your shoulder blades. Both feet are equally firmly planted into your mat. You're not going anywhere. Your legs are super strong. All the muscles are engaged. From here, release the hands forward. Lengthen through the sides of your waist. Pull your tummy in and slowly come all the way up to stand. 
drawing the right foot forward, palms meeting above you in space. Exhale, release the hands down towards your heart in prayer. Take the left foot behind you like a curtsy, bending both knees. Without using your hands, see if you can come to sit as gently as you can, maybe more gently than I did. And then wiggle forward on your mat. And we're gonna come to roll down, take a twist, and then come into Shavasana. So slowly releasing yourself down onto the mat, hugging your knees, and rocking gently from side to side on your lower back. This is where you want to have a nice soft grass surface beneath you. From here, take your arms out either side. Let both knees fall towards the right hand side. And look over your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Let your body soften. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come to lie on your sacrum, your lower back. Keeping your knees lifted, your arms as they are, and then gently rock your head from side to side on the ground underneath you, giving the back of your skull a massage. From here, we're gonna take both legs over to the left. So you can always shift your hips back in space to create a deeper twist. And once your legs are in a comfortable position, you feel like the muscles can relax, you can look over your right shoulder, making sure the shoulders are away from the ears, so shuffling the shoulder blades nice and wide underneath you. Breathe into the lifted right hip and breathe out into the grounded left hip on the mat. Inhale to the lifted side of your body and exhale to the earth side of your body. From here, we're gonna come onto our lower back once more, hugging our knees in, rocking gently from side to side. Option to take happy baby, taking the soles of the feet, keeping the back of the head on the ground. Knees come towards armpits, feet are flexed, toes drawing down towards your shins. You can take a little rock if that feels good for you. Bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the hands come, tracing a line up the legs to the thighs before releasing the feet to the ground. Legs can be in butterfly pose, supta baddha konasana. If this is comfortable for your hips, you can stay here. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you can straighten your legs. We're going to come into Shavasana, so allow your hands to lie out to the sides of you, palms facing up. If the sun is out where you are, embrace the warmth on your skin. Let yourself begin to notice the sounds of nature all around you, whether it's the wind in the trees or the grass, the birds in the air, the sound, perhaps far away of traffic or people. Whatever you can hear, let yourself tune into the external vibrations and frequency. And then we'll begin to take it inward and see how you're breathing. Are you slightly out of breath or are you already taking the deep, fulfilling, nourishing breath that take your brain into a different pattern, into a deeper state, altering the brain waves. See if you can access that deeper, more meditative, relaxed state by taking deeper inhales and exhales through your nose. You can allow yourself to lie here as long as feels good for you. We'll take Shavasana for a minute and then we'll come back up to sit and say Namaste.
starting to wiggle your fingers and toes. If your legs are still in butterfly position, gently bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and allowing your hands to help close your legs together, bringing your knees to touch. From here, we're gonna fall into fetal position onto our right hand side. Up to come to sit in Sukhasana. Easy cross-legged pose. Rolling your shoulders up, back and down. Taking your hands in prayer at your heart center. Lifting your thumbs to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Loka Samastha Sukhini Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free, particularly apt when you're outdoors in nature. And then taking your thumbs down towards your heart, releasing your arms forward. We say Namaste together. Namaste. Thank you for practicing outdoors. I hope you managed to get outdoors as well. It's so beautiful to be in nature while doing some yoga. Hopefully your heart rate has slowed, your breath has calmed, while you've also got a good little workout going on. Hope you can join us for some other videos on our channel.